Welcome guys to the Imperial Empire. This is another let's play uh, or multiplayer battle. It's just a 2v1 and this is literally a 2v1. It's one guy versus two players and let me go over it. So we got a Spanish player and one of my YouTuber, one of, sorry, one of my subscribers sent this in. A really good battle. So let's go over the army comps first. He's got th four fusiliers over here, three line infantry, obviously, la I can't pronounce it, Lancorios. I don't know guys, I don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry, I don't speak it. And then uh, we got General Staff, another one of those units, and pretty much duplicated on this side, the same army uh, group over here. Yep, so yeah, so you get to see that. And he's also got this DLC units. Everybody's always like, everybody's always talking about Spain and how they cheat, and how it's cheating and whatever. It's a, uh, it's a, what's it called? A, uh, I don't know, Chico, where they get to send their units up to the front, like Vanguard deployment. But yes, they do get to do this because they, it is a DLC unit, and. Yeah, so put up with it, some players. They got some tons of these units over here. What are they called? La Lanza's DL something, something, something. But anyway, and another unit. But uh, the reason that you got to do this is because in the, the lore, oh, not the lore, oh my god, the history is that Spanish did a lot of guerrilla warfare. So that's the army of the Spanish. We'll get to see the other side in a second. But we can't yet because, you know, battle maps. We'll fast forward for a sec. We'll talk about the battle. Yeah, obviously, he looks like he's going to go for a very aggressive play in the beginning right here. This is the Battle of Waterloo, if you can't tell. Oh, shit. we got to slow it down. He's moving up, so we'll, we'll show you what the armies are. we got Russia and France. So, let's see. we got v v Musketeers, Musketeers. Life foot. Life foot. Life foot. Life foot. It's 20 pound. Oh, yeah. Unicorns, obviously. <laughs> That's why he plays Russia. Lifeguard horse. Lifeguard horse. And musketeers, uh, musketeers, and the French. Uh, I don't know if we can see their whole army. If this this can't be all it, I wonder. Uh, grand battery of well, this is interesting. That's a well, that's a big unit. Um, three old guard, and an ex uh, experimental howitzer. I hate experimental howitzers. And obviously he's got his general staff pulling Bonaparte back here. I'm assuming there's more troops back here though, unless he did give a lot of. Chevron, so these old guards. So he's going for an more elite army. And we'll see this battle play out. It's going to be pretty darn intense. That's all I can say. And we'll take a... Obviously, we got to take a screenshot of the the old guard because... Dang it. I hate when I do that. <laughs> there we go. we got to take a screenshot of the old guard because, obviously, they're the old guard and old guard are amazing. All right. So there we go. We got our screenshot, but let's continue this battle now. It looks like the whatever player over here has noticed this grand charge, and they're gonna go over there and support their ally. But I don't know. It could be a ballsy move, but it's getting pretty loud now. The cav charging, but here we go. It is Spanish cav versus three lifeguard. Yeah, they're gonna get destroyed. The Spanish are. Yeah. That's pretty bad, pretty desperate for them. But um, I understand though, it gets pretty loud in here, guys. I'm sorry, I have to speak up a little louder. You must understand, obviously, because it is, I don't know what it is about this game, but when you zoom in and watch guys in melee, they, all of a sudden, the music, that's not the music, the sound of the battle just turns up so loud, it's amazing. I don't understand why it does it, and it pisses me off. As a YouTuber. Obviously, the Spanish do a similar move over here on the, like, on the arty. It works out though. We got we missed it, but he is doing. Yeah, he, he hurt the Artie pretty bad. Almost all of the Artie's gone. That's why you got to pay attention a little more. And an old guard unit lost like 40 men, and 30 over here. Yeah, so good charge by the line stars. You got to pay attention, guys. It's Spanish. You do, I see this a lot. Players don't recognize that. Recognize this thing. Yeah, I guess this is all their Artie, and they just lost like huge unit that could have been you know pretty done still balance of power is not very good for our teammate or uh, our our subscriber he is all alone and it is a 2v1 so that's not good for him he's still outnumbered heavily but he has taken out some of the arty unfortunately the the unicorns even worse the most scary arty in the game that should be totally nerfed but i don't know why they haven't still out there I mean, he can move up to here and hide behind it. It is. I'm not sure We've if it's poison. Oh, sorry about that. I clicked off the screen. It looks like he's conquered. The building's been captured. What are these? Unicorns? What type of unicorns? Oh, I think the. I'm not sure if these are the howitzer ones. 
I can't, I don't know, guys. But if they are the Houcher one, the Houcher unicorns are OP because they can shoot over hills and it's just mind boggling. Let's get rid of that. Get out of there. There we go. Old Guard moving up. Elite troops. Still got two of their experimental Houchers, so they can still do tons of damage. If I were the, these guys, I'd move up onto this ridge and then already them down. They still don't, haven't seen these two calves that are sitting in here, I believe. Look at those uniforms. Got the lances. I would not mess with these guys. That's why you never send your arty up in front. You have your cav, yeah, this is smart. Have your cav screen along the front. That's how you do well in this game. But this is, I don't know. I'd be so pissed. I'd be yelling at the screen. But I still got three old guard units. I don't know why he went with this three. I mean, like, this guy, these guys should be able to beat them pretty easily, though, because they outnumber them heavily. I mean, I don't know what to say. He's abandoning the hill, though, which is interesting. I wouldn't leave this hill. I would sit on it. But then again, he's, he's got to play aggressively because the enemy does out already him pretty heavily. But uh, the French guy is not playing very uh, strategically, so maybe he can uh, catch this old guard unit all by himself. Maybe he's new to the game and doesn't understand that old guard aren't that OP. I mean, they are OP, but they're not going not gonna to be able to take on a whole army by themselves. Good volley, though, in the beginning, maybe. But these uh, light infantry are going to wreck, I believe they're going to wreck this unit. I mean, how can they do well against this elite? Yeah, I mean, there you go. That, there you go. You just A bullet's a bullet. It doesn't matter how accurate your unit is. If you're going to take a hit, you're going to take a hit pretty bad. And look at that. Returning fire. Holy crap. That was loud. I'll turn that down, guys. Holy crap. The sound there was a little too loud. Okay. Back. Resume game. All right, that was really loud. Got to admit, I'm sorry, guys, if it's too loud. I'm trying to get the settings right, you know. But uh, here we go. Open fire. Are they gonna open fire? What's going on? Nope. Pulling back. Not, not, not very. Not, not the dumbest thing. You can hear the enemy troops running back, or that our allied troops. Yeah, these uh, light infantry are pretty tough though. Unfortunately now, not sure who's firing, but I believe the experimental already is firing. Yep, it is. You love ex I love howitzers. They get that. They can shoot over the ridge. Just, oh, just absolutely devastating to anybody against them. That's all I can say about it. They're just hanging out right here. That is total war for you. Invisible loading. It's you know what I think it is. It's because all the other already is a lot longer. Because it's short. I don't know. Creative assembly got lazy. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. This is a very interesting formation. Not dumb. Yeah, but this old guard, I don't know what he's doing with it. He's like just sending them out there alone. If you get there out alone, you're done. It doesn't matter how. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what he's trying to do. Pretty much eliminating an old guard unit by himself. The Russian player is playing a little smarter, though. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's. This is pretty bad. This is an elite unit. And look at me. Sh look at how much experience they have. I don't know why you need experience for Old Guard. Old Guard are already, like, unbreakable. <laughs> Unless the general dies. I mean, good volley, though. Getting some good shots on the enemy. Open fire. Come on. There we go. These guys going down, though. Can't imagine this Old Guard's got too much in them left. Yeah, I mean... They did some damage though on this Chalier unit. Jeez. They got actually, they got like 40 kills. I'm gonna have to admit, Old Guard un overwhelmingly. The Russians have more UN though. They're sending over um, some Life life Foot and some Musketeers. Some pretty good troops. Especially these Life Foot. Look at those uniforms. Pretty amazing. You got the Eagle on top. That's pretty cool. Already though, they shouldn't move this shit up. I don't know what he's doing. Oh wait, they're loading up. Maybe they are firing. Where are they aiming at, though? Uh, nah, they got like one fusilier guy. Oh, they got a good shot here, it looks like. Yep, that's... <laughs> I love it. When you get a good shot, an arty is amazing. That's why you gotta make guys out in a long line. Pretty smart getting in this house. Oh, yeah, so they are firing. Yeah, if I was the Russians, I'd make them come to me. I wouldn't move up. I wouldn't be doing what he's doing. Like, you out already him. Make him come to you. Don't, don't, if you have the army superiority, don't go to your enemy. 
let them come to you because they have to unless they're just going to take unnecessary casualties this is a good spot though good house to hide in I mean I would hide right here in the corner I'd be like taking cover or where would I want to hide I don't know I'd be a coward I'd hide in the house probably I would be nervous about cannonballs though so I'd probably hide behind the stone wall I don't think a cannonball can go through that it's pretty smart that well there's only um there's nobody out here you can get some more troops in here where are the troops so there's 160 troops in here I don't see none oh, there they are you get so many more in here get some guys on the outside of the house that's what I would try doing maybe send two units in there fortunately this house is taking hits but uh, howitzers do not do good damage against buildings so um yeah they're they're leaving the house I don't know if I would leave the house it's not that. I mean, oh yeah, they are taking casualties though, because the shots. It is a pretty open house, so you, shots in there do get damage. If I were them, I'd charge these two old guard into this house and take out this fusilier unit. I mean that. That's pretty smart. Dang. This unit's not getting a break. Lack of organization though. This is still hiding you. I don't know. I feel like this would be a good moment to charge these life life foot. They're not really paying attention. That's what he's probably waiting for. Or maybe you come across here and get this already. So many options. But you know, you gotta have, make sure if you're gonna do a charge, you gotta make sure your opponent's busy elsewhere. So maybe get some musketeers to get in line. But to leave these houses though is pretty bad. Uh, I don't know. Seems pretty ballsy. That uh, old guard is still running away. Where, where is uh, Napoleon, yeah, Napoleon Bonaparte out here too? Dang. Then you just get a general staff. They got Napoleon himself. Well, look at this guy. Pretty fancy dress. Where's the uh, Russian general? Yeah, just a normal general. I like the normal general. I don't know why you need to bring him. Oh, look at that. That's pretty fancy, too. I wonder. I, I thought this point. I don't know what's going on. They got to move up. French are being pretty smart about this. He's double garrisoning this house now. It's an interesting tactic. I don't know if it's the right idea. He is getting some shots off though. Looks like he can get some. It looks like the old guard are in range. See, I don't know why he doesn't just just get in this house, charge into them. You could wreck these two units, and you can start shooting outside the house. They don't really have already to go in there. And the Spanish player has no units to actually fight in this house that can beat old guard. There you go. The charge comes out, being very smart. He's coming through. He got an Artie. He's going for the other Artie. It's too late. The Russians have lost all their Artie. I don't know what the Russians are going to try doing here. He should keep moving. I mean, the job's done, though. I mean, he should split off one unit to get the other experimental Artie. But look at that. Cav just took out all the Artie, which is huge. Which is huge. I cannot emphasize that enough now they're on the still though on the on the balance of power it's still pretty but heavily favored into the these guys even though they've made a lot of errors a lot of mistakes but they're gonna do a charge onto these uh, life foot but they should have gotten them into square For some reason they didn't they're gonna lose tons of men friendly fire now between all the units the calves gonna get wrecked the Russian calf this unit's not done though they're doing some damage. Holy crap. That was really successful. Got to admit. That was brilliant. Brilliant, I say. That's all I can say. Freaking brilliant. There's a house back here. Pretty big house. Is there an upper story? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I wonder, I mean, like, the problem is, like, this This is open, so you can, like, shoot in there. Wait, can you go on the roof? Oh, no way. Men can go on the roof up here. Gotta get a rifle unit up here. That's pretty sweet. This is, see what I'm talking about, Warhammer? We would we would have finished like five battles by now. Looks like the old guard are gonna move up between these two houses. I don't know, that's smart. Oh, that's an interesting shot. I don't know why, oh, there's a good hit. That was a good hit right there. The morale, already just wrecked morale. I don't know what these old guard are doing. They should just stop and open fire. There you go though. The, Good volley on the old guard. The old guard just lost like crazy amount. Old guard are returning fire. 
No other unit but the old guard could take that much shots and still be still willing to fight. Our men are running, sir. They are getting picked off too over here pretty badly. Yeah, there you go. You can see that. Not very good for the uh, the French. The Artie's coming in. The Russian player doesn't know what to do. If I was a Russian, I'd charge in the house. Then if, no, if the French guy's not going to do it. He did eliminate the first line, though. And the freaking old guard is still going. What ballsiness. My god. They should have taken their old guard. They have, like, way superior melee infantry. They should just get them in the house. Can't believe the old guard is still moving. Smart, he's pulling back. It is, there's too many guys. It's not smart to keep fighting that. He should have kept this house though, so he could have done crossfire on both and the unit. Um, Napoleon's going in for a charge. This must be a misclick. Napoleon's getting wrecked. Napoleon's charging though. There he is. Napoleon of himself. No way. Napoleon's a coward. Get him. Can't believe that, was, that must have been a misclick so bad. Napoleon's going to get away though. He's a one guy. Cavs charging. Pretty smart. These guys can't go into square. That's what I'm talking about. Intelligence. He's going to go for the enemy general though. Oh man. He should have just gone for this line. Now the Spanish doing crossfire. The lines over here are being held. These guys need to charge the house if they really want to do damage. Now it's dead even. They're trying to chase down this general. I don't know why. Go for these guys. They can't go into square. My god. The French guy's got two ouchers though. Now the whole house is just going to aim around. Just run around the house. It's smart. Just going to take shots from all angles. General though is going to die. I'm pretty sure though. He can't. I don't know if he can get away from this. Except he did pretty much eliminate the calf. Yeah, pretty much. The calf's gone. But uh, the general's gone too, though. I don't know. That's, that was a good trade off. Two calf units were just a general. Which I don't know if this point really matters. The Russians are pushing up, though. I don't know what their plan is. They're trying to fire into a brick house. Either go in the house or get out. Oh, they do have a woolen. Oh, never mind. They have a woolen guard over here. I'm sorry, guys. They do have some elite troops here. What's in this house? Oh, no. Fusiliers. Not much. So, yeah. They do have two elite troops. Russian player just got crossfired on all sides here. Not good. Pretty much gone. Still got the arty going in there. Getting some good shots, I guess. But you can see, this is... It's just strategy right here. I don't know what these players are doing. They're just shooting at a brick wall. Common sense. I mean, it's not gonna. You're not gonna do too well. Look at that. The, these um, two sealers are just eating up this uh, lifeguard foot. Some elite Russian troops. And these musketeers are totally wrecked, pretty much. Yeah, just pull back. Pull back is the right idea at this point. The writing's on the wall. Oh, they got a hit. Oh, they didn't get any kills though. That sucks. Sometimes it already pisses me off in this game. It doesn't make sense. They are getting some kills, but not much. You can see most of them hitting the wall. I, I would just shoot, take cover, shoot, take cover. I wouldn't even like really pop up my head. If I was one of these gunners, I would, I'd be so nervous. Just taking a straight shot. And if you get hit, you're pretty much done. Even if you get hit in the leg. Unless you're an officer. They may take care of you. But if you're not an officer, you're pretty much going to be left to die in the field. So that sucks. So you got to be careful. But yeah, though it looks like the Russians are going to try regrouping. But I don't know at this point what they can do. Uh, did any, any guys get killed here? Uh, nope, I don't think so. Nobody died there on that jolly. But now the Spanish guys can go in. Well, they still got Cav. Dang. Still got a fresh unit of Cav. We're going to go for the Artie. They got the lances out. They're going to go in for the charge. There they go. Eat it. <laughs> Pretty much this already is done. You just keep going. Unfortunately, this unit does get a good volley. Sound effects are weird because Napoleon's a weird game. Didn't go into square in time. This unit pretty much will break. The only reason they have it broke is because their general is actually still alive. But there you go. The French guy is out of the game. 
The Russians only got... They left a unit sitting back here? Oh my god. And it's an elite unit. What are they doing? What are the Russians doing? How do you make that big of an error? I mean, I guess they could still technically come back. I don't know. Let's fast forward a little bit. It's going to be a lot of marching. I assume they're going to line back up. Get their men rested. I mean, they are pretty fresh. They should just march. I mean, there's no point anymore. Should, you know, these guys at least, if they're going to gun with this house, they should have put their units right here. I mean, they're screwed either way. Come on, do the march. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what the Russian plan is here. They're all alone. All alone with no allies. They're in a terrible situation, too. And they're not really doing a good formation. And there you go. You can see. These are light infantry. They have a little bit further distance. So they can just gun these guys down. But no. I wonder what they're doing. A standoff? Are they going to charge? I don't know. At this point, I would just charge all my men in. Are they going to surround them? No. They have a little bit of a hill. So they could probably shoot. Get the cab on the side and charge down this hill. I don't know what they're trying to do. They're trying, I guess they're doing a standoff. Oh, no, here we go. General is still going strong, though. He's not a coward. I gotta give him that. The Russians are gonna be the ones to move up. Interesting. I don't know, that's pretty smart. Now you're just gonna get the first volley on you. Oh, a straight shot hits the general. That sucks. That sucks so bad. <laughs> This lifeguard foot's an elite unit, so they should do some good damage on these uh, fusiliers. Then again, bullets are bullets. Doesn't matter how elite the unit is, if they're getting getting chewed up by a million bullets, it doesn't really matter. So you can tell this lifeguard foot's getting eliminated pretty badly, so. General's going in for a charge. I mean he's already dead, so it doesn't really matter. Now that the general's dead, the lifeguard foot are breaking, which gives a bonus to morale. If this unit breaks right here, all these other guys will break. Because they do give a morale bonus. That's it, though. They should just charge. I, I would do a charge. Just a grand charge. Glorious yep, not smart. And you can tell now. The enemy breaks. And that is the end of the battle, guys. That is a uh, ultimate comeback. I mean, not even comeback. You're odd. You're so against you. Anyway, this is a good battle. Got a lot of kills. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Interceptor66, for sending me the replay. If you guys want to send me a replay, I have an email on my YouTube channel. Just leave a, uh, just send it over to me. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. And this was your host, Nathan, and thanks for watching.